So let us discuss about the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. A parallel plate capacitor consists of two parallel plates, usually rectangular plates, separated by a distance t. I am just drawing the three-dimensional figure in a two-dimensional plane, so it will be like this, and the separation between the plates will be d. I can draw this figure like this also. These two lines represent the parallel plates and the separation will be d. clear and one of the plates is made or charged with positive charged positive charge so by induction the other plate will be negatively charged so that so that the charge remains the same also the area of the plates remains the same which means the charge density sigma remains the same that is we have surface so surface charge density represented by the letter sigma is equal to charge per unit area. Charge on both the plates remains the same, although they are of opposite sign, but the magnitude remains the same. So area also remains the same. So sigma is same. And we know the fact that for a positive plate, the electric field will be away from the plate and its value will be E is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. For epsilon 0 is the permittivity of the free space. Also, for the negative plate, that also the electric field is towards the plate and its value is also E equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. We already discussed about the uh, electric field between two parallel plates of opposite sign. Also, we know that the electric field outside both the plates will be zero. If you have any doubt regarding, we already proved this. If you have any doubt, you can go back and check the video naming the electric field due to an infinite long charge sheet. Okay. So that the net electric field inside the plates, that is E net, since both of the electric field are in same direction, so you can write this as E plus E or it's actually 2E. So that net electric field E net is equal to 2 into sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. You can cancel this too. Therefore, net electric field E net is equal to sigma divided by epsilon 0. Call that as equation number 1. Now we need to find the potential difference between these two plates. Potential. We have potential difference. Potential difference. V is equal to. Potential difference is related to electric field. That is net electric field into the distance. Potential is equal to electric field into distance. That is equal to V equal to net electric field equal to sigma by epsilon 0 into V. Let's call this as equation number 2. Now, let me erase this. By the definition of capacitance, capacitance, Let's say C is equal to, we have charge divided by potential difference. We have C equal to Q by V. That is C is equal to Q divided by V is equal to sigma by epsilon 0 D. Also, we have charge density sigma will be Q divided by A implies q is equal to sigma a. Let's call this as equation number 3 and you can substitute this in here. So c will be sigma a divided by sigma d divided by epsilon 0. You can cancel this sigma sigma and c is equal to, you can take this epsilon 0 to the numerator so that c equal to epsilon 0 a divided by d. So this is the 
equation for the capacitance of a parallel brake capacitor. Clearly, C capacitance is directly proportional to area of the plates. C is inversely proportional to distance between the plates. Clear. Here in this derivation, we took the medium inside the plates as air. Clear. Air is the medium between these two plates is air. That's why epsilon zero. Okay.